catacomb is defined by Oxford Dictionary as an underground cemetery consisting of a subterranean gallery with recesses for tombs. As such, anyone who visits any of the various catacombs found around the world will be exposed to a certain level of spookiness as they come face to face with the hundreds to thousands to sometimes even millions of skeletons lining the catacomb walls. So. If all the dead bodies aren't the scariest thing that is found in a catacomb, something is seriously wrong. Hello, I'm Andrew Boyd, and though my corporeal form on Earth is midway through the decomposition process, my spirit, which is still trapped in this lifeless void, is prepared to tell you about the top five terrifying discoveries found inside the catacombs. Number five, the ghosts of the catacombs. When you consider how many locations, like old houses or abandoned mental institutions, have a reputation for being haunted due to the discovery of just a few bodies, it comes as no surprise that many of the world's catacombs have apparently been discovered to be haunted by the specters of the past. Take for example the Paris catacombs. Built as a mass grave in the 18th century in order to deal with the overflowing of local cemeteries, the Paris catacombs hold the remains of millions of Parisians. A few years after being established, Louis-Étienne Haricard decided to make the catacombs a work of art by arranging the bones into elaborate displays. An inscription in the catacombs even reads, Arrête, c'est ici l'Empire de la Mort, which translates to stop. This is the empire of the dead. In the years since, there have been several reports of ghosts wandering the labyrinth-like grave, searching for a way out. As if that weren't bad enough, rumor has it that if you come into the catacombs at night, you will hear the whispers of all the spirits of the catacombs, trying to convince you to venture deeper and deeper into the catacombs until you become lost and unable to find your way out. Another often reported ghost is that of Philibert Asper, who was a doorman at the Val de Grasse hospital, who made his way into the catacombs in late 1793 when he was sent to fetch liquor from a cellar. With only the light of a single candle to find his way out, he soon became lost and confused. It is also theorized that he was quite drunk at the time. His candle eventually went out and it became pitch black. He was missing for 11 years before his remains were found and identified due to the hospital keys and the bottle of liquor in his hand. He was interred in the catacombs at the exact location where he was found. In the years since, urban explorers calling themselves cataphiles have reported seeing the spirit of Asper wandering the halls of the catacombs with his candle on the anniversary of him going missing. The cataphiles are known for paying their respects at his grave, and they have named his spirit the protector of the cataphiles. Number four, living quarters. Moving towards the more tangible discoveries on the list, we have another disturbing discovery from the Paris catacombs. In 2004, the French police were exploring a restricted area of the Paris catacombs when they were met with the sound of a vicious guard dog barking at them. They searched for the dog and discovered that the sound was actually coming from a PA system that was playing pre-recorded barking. The police continued to search and found that the section of the catacombs had been wired for electricity and was stealing power from the buildings above and that whoever was stealing the power had also set up working phone lines. They continued their search and found that a bed, a bar, a lounge, a workshop, and even a makeshift cinema had been installed in the catacombs, with seats for up to 20 people having been carved into the stone of the catacombs. As if that weren't bad enough, they realized that the area was also filled with security cameras that were recording them. The police left in order to assemble a larger team, with plans to return to investigate further. When they they returned with more men, they discovered that the wiring, as well as all the furniture, drinks, cameras, phones, cinema projectors, and other electronics had vanished. The only thing that remained was a note, written by the mastermind who had managed to assemble this living quarters in the catacombs for the police. It read, Ne cherchez pas or don't search. No trace of this strange squatter was ever found, and this story remains one of the most unusual in the Paris catacombs long history. Number three, traps. Stepping away from Paris for a bit, let's explore the infamous Znojmo catacombs in the Czech Republic. Although commonly known as the Znojmo catacombs, this is actually a misnomer, as there is no evidence that they were used for the internment of human remains. However, this doesn't mean that these passages weren't commonly filled with corpses. Originally used 
used as subterranean cellars by the locals during the Middle Ages. In the 14th and 15th century, these various individual cellars began to be linked together, transforming them into a massive maze of tunnels, covering a distance of over 30 kilometers. To this day, the tunnels have not been completely mapped, as there are sections that have been completely flooded. During times of war, the locals would hide in the catacombs. It had water due to a series of wells located in the tunnels. It also had sewage and drainage systems to keep the tunnels clean, and due to shafts leading to the fireplaces and chimneys of the buildings above it, it also had ample ventilation. Locals were also able to use the tunnels to get out of the city should a quick escape be needed. If they were invaded, the invaders would be met with an empty city whose chimneys were inexplicably still spewing smoke, giving the place an eerie ghost town vibe. But what would happen if the invaders found one of the entrances to the catacombs and entered the tunnels? Well, there were measures in place to make sure that those who didn't know the secrets of the catacombs would never find their way out. Beyond simply being a confusing underground maze, the catacombs were constructed with an elaborate series of traps worthy of an Indiana Jones movie. The catacombs feature narrow narrow choke points, as well as trap doors which would drop unsuspecting invaders to their deaths. Perhaps most clever were the series of slippery slides, which led to deep inescapable pits, so the invaders would end up trapped without food or water and with no means of escape. While the catacombs provided locals with a safe haven during times of war, for the enemies it was a nightmarish labyrinth where death could wait around every corner, with few soldiers ever getting out once they entered the tunnels. Number two, the bodies of the lost. As catacombs in their most traditional form are designed to be mass graves filled with the bodies of the deceased, it should come as no surprise when bodies are found within their walls even if it is kind of spooky. However, there is a big difference between finding a body that has been interred in the grave and finding a body that absolutely should not be there. It is not uncommon for bodies of lost explorers to be found in catacombs all over the world, such as poor Philibert from entry number one, who was found in the Paris catacombs. However, for our examples for this entry, let us explore the Odessa catacombs, located in the Ukraine. The Odessa catacombs are another example of catacombs that don't fit the classical definition as they were constructed mostly for the purpose of mining, rather than the storage of dead bodies. Although there are rumors that after World War II, the catacombs were used to store executed German soldiers. The catacombs are some of the largest in the world, running up to 2,500 kilometers. They were used as air raid shelters during the Second World War and as fallout shelters during the Cold War, and have apparently been used by smugglers in order to transport goods and hide treasure. Over the years, several people have made their way into the Odessa catacombs only to never find their way out. For example, in 2015, a man brought his girlfriend into the catacombs in order to end her life with an axe. And in 2011, another murder victim was found in the catacombs after having been there for an estimated three to six months. One of the most infamous cases of someone dying and later being found in the catacombs is a girl named Masha. In 2005, Masha and her friends entered the catacombs for a New Year's Eve party. They stayed the night and drunk drunkenly made their way back to their homes the next day. Unfortunately, they were so intoxicated that they didn't realize that Masha wasn't with them. She had wandered off and gotten lost in the tunnels. After a few hours, her flashlight battery would have died, and she would have spent the rest of her life wandering around the tunnels in the dark, searching for food, water, and a means of escape. It is hoped that she froze to death within a few hours. Otherwise, she would have become delirious with dehydration and taken up to a week to pass. Her body was discovered in 2009, when a group of teenagers stumbled across it. The body stayed where it was found until two years later, when a laborer removed the body in hopes of getting a reward from the family. He wrapped the remains in a blanket, but the words he used to describe the state of the body when he found it are quite visceral, as he called the body bone soup. Masha's story is tragic, but illustrates the importance of staying out of dangerous places when you are alone. Number 1. The Dead Man's Camera In the 1990s, a group of explorers were wandering the Paris catacombs when they found something lying on the ground. A dust-covered video camera with over 40 minutes of footage on it. The footage showed an explorer wandering the halls of the dead and studying the remains. Occasionally, he would see bones on the ground in the shape of arrows, presumably being used to mark a path. Suddenly, the man starts running 
and we can hear his breathing getting louder and louder, with him seemingly getting more and more panicked. He begins to look around in confusion, seemingly unsure of which way to go in the maze-like tunnels. The camera is the man's only source of light in the dark tunnels, which is why it's so surprising when he suddenly drops the camera and continues running deeper and deeper into the catacombs, with nothing to light his way. No trace of the man has ever been found, and we have no idea what he was running from, and many assume that this footage shows the final moments of this man's life. There is no way to verify the events found on the footage as being real or a hoax, or even a prank. But the questions that the tape raises were enough to inspire the 2014 horror film As Above, So Below, which is a found footage film about urban explorers getting lost in the catacombs and becoming beset by paranormal forces. When wandering through a maze of corpses, finding something disturbing or even terrifying is far from the realm of impossibility. However, I hope this video has taught you to stick with the guided tour if you ever find yourself in any of the world's catacombs. The dark forces that run this evil dimension have asked that I remind you you to like and comment on this video and to subscribe to our channel, lest they be forced to trap you in an inescapable labyrinthine void where you will be forced to regale viewers with tales of the macabre and the disturbing here on Top 5 Scary Videos.